Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's talk about perpendiculars. Now we all know that two line segments or rays are said to be perpendicular if they intersect such that the angles between them are right angles. So they, the two line segments should make 90 degrees to each other. So let us take some examples. So here you see these are two lines and the angle between them and they are intersecting at a point. Let's say this point is point O and the angle that they make with each other is 90 degrees. So the, the, we can say that let, let's say if this is A, B, C. So in this case we can say that A, B is perpendicular on B, C or we can say B, C is perpendicular on A, B. Let's take more examples here also you see that there are two lines which are intersecting and also they are intersecting at 90 degrees. So therefore here also we can see that the two lines are perpendicular to each other. Let us now learn how do we draw perpendicular to a line through a point on it. So that means you will be given a line, you will have to draw a perpendicular on that line to a particular point on that line. So here we have two different ways to do this construction. One is using ruler and set square. The other is using ruler and compass. So first let us look at the ruler set square construction. So let's say this is the line given to you and you need to draw a perpendicular at a point P which is at 11 centimeters from this end. So let us call, the, call this line as AB. So this AB is a line segment and let's say that you have to draw a perpendicular at some point P which is at a distance of 11 centimeters from A. So you are given that P is at a distance of 11 centimeters from A. So how will you locate P? So for that first put a ruler exactly along the line segment AB. So here make a note of 11 centimeter which is somewhere here. Right. So that means this is our point P where we want to draw a perpendicular. Now what we do bring the set square and place it exactly above the ruler as is shown in the diagram. Now place it along the ruler and gradually start shifting it towards point P until you reach that point which corresponds to 11 centimeters. So now you have shifted your set square exactly at point P. Now what you need to do? Now we have already learned that in a set square this angle is 90 degrees which means that this line also is at 90 degrees with the base and the baseline is along the line segment AB. So this is pretty simple. All we need to do is just to draw a line along this perpendicular of the set square. So along this side of the set square you just draw a line. Now when you remove the set square, what do you see? You see that this angle is 90 degrees. Now if you want, you can verify the measure of this angle using a protractor. So in this fashion, you can draw perpendicular using a ruler and a set square. Now let us see how do we draw it with a ruler compass. Okay, so in this case again, let's assume that this is the line which is given to us and where is point P? So as I said that point P is at a distance of 11 cm from point A. So point P would be somewhere here. So this is our point P. Now in this case what we do, we take the compass, we considering P as the center. Now whichever point we consider as the center, we put the pointed end of the compass on that point. Because whenever you want to draw a circle, you, you will not draw the circle on the center. For To draw the circle, you need to put the pointed end at the center and then draw the circle with the pencil end. That is what you will do. So in this case also do the same thing. We will consider P as the center. So pointed end will be at P and with any convenient radius. That means this uh, width of the compass could be anything. The, Angle between the two arms could actually be any convenient measurement. So with any convenient radius, we draw an arc such that it intersects the line at two points, something like this. So you actually draw an arc like this using the compass. Now when you look at this arc, you would see that this arc actually intersects the line at two points. This is one point and this is another point. So let us name these points. So let us say this is point A 
and this is point B. So these are the two points where the arc intersects the line. Now what we do? Now we consider point B as the center. That means the pointed end is at B and with the other end we draw an arc. Now this time again we do not have any fixed radius but we make sure that this uh, width of the compass or the radius for which you are drawing the circle that radius should be greater than the half of this length that means it should be greater than pb so the radius with which you are drawing it should be greater than pb similarly on this side when you draw the radius should be greater than ap so basically the length of ab half of length of ab greater than that should be the radius when you draw the circle or draw the arc using this compass. So you will draw an arc like this. Now remove the compass from here, place the compass on point A and repeat the same thing. So here you are considering A as the center and with a radius greater than AP, you draw an arc like this. So basically if you draw the circle, you would get a circle like this, but we do not want the entire circle. Just the arc should be enough. So once you have drawn this, you would see that these two arcs, they intersect each other at a point. Now all you need to do is join this point to point P. And the moment you join them, you actually get a perpendicular. Now aren't you curious to know that what actually did we do? Why did we do so much of complication? Now what we were actually doing was we were making a 90 degrees with so much of construction. So now the next question that might come to your mind is how were we making a 90 degree like this? Now that you will learn a little later when we talk about drawing angles. For now you need to understand that perpendicular is that line which makes 90 degree to the baseline. So what we have actually done here is we have done, we have drawn a circle here and now Exactly. Now we have made sure that point P is at the center of A and B, right? That's because it is a circle. So AP is also radius of the circle. PB is also radius of the circle. So obviously P is at the center of A and B. Therefore, when you actually draw a circle of the same radius from B and a, a circle from this of the same radius from A, so the point which is the intersection of these two arcs, that points corresponds to perpendicular that point and point p lies exactly on a straight line so on a straight line actually means that this would be 90 degree to ab so in this fashion we draw a perpendicular to a line using ruler and compass now if you want you recap this slide again if you have any uh, doubts or any confusion but this construction is a four step first step you draw an arc with p as center such that the arc intersects the line at points A and B. Step number two, with B as the center, draw an arc such that the radius is greater than PB. Step number three, with B as center, draw an, with A as center, draw an arc such that the radius is greater than AP. Step number four, join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point P and the line that you get is perpendicular to AB. So in this case, if let's call this as M, so you can say that PM is perpendicular to AB. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.